Hey guys, it's me again. Um, today we have a uh, Samsung Plasma power supply uh, that came in for repair. Customer states it doesn't work and I don't know what's wrong with it. So it's here in the shop today for some repairs and I already took a quick look at it and uh, just, you know, a little peek to see maybe where the issue is. And uh, I can tell you right away yeah, that the... Uh, power supply is indeed dead it's not working like it's supposed to but uh i just thought i would want to show you this in general just how massive this thing is you know compared to a, a normal power supply that you find in the television nowadays mind you again plasma tvs they run very hot and they also run on a lot of they need a lot of power to run so i'm not surprised for this tv in particular i'm not surprised that it's this big the gentleman's TV is 60 inches, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a pretty big panel that has to be powered. And the size of a power supply, I guess, is appropriate. But uh, basically, I took a quick look over it just to see where our issue might be. And I was checking some of my voltages over here, actually. And I noticed right away that my standby is missing. So the power supply is dead. Uh, I don't have my standby voltage. I'm supposed to be reading... 5 volts on pin number 2, as you can see here, I'll get my pointing stick over here. If you look right here, STBY stands for standby, and on this pin I should read anywhere between maybe 3.3 .3 and 5 volts, and I checked up with my multimeter over here, and it's completely dead. So we're going to dig into this, and we're going to see why this power supply is not working like it should. I have hooked up temporarily some, uh, some leads, because I... The customer did not supply me with the uh, cable to plug it in and to the wall, so I just soldered on some wire with a plug on the end so that I can do my testing. And uh, most importantly, I have my dim bulb tester right there, and it's set right now to limited current. On top of that, actually, I forgot to mention it's I have my auto transformer that goes to the dim bulb and to my isolation transformer. So all three of these in conjunction, so I'm, I'm working on, uh, I'm working safely and I won't get uh, hurt if, uh, if that ever happens. Um, but uh, yeah, this is an absolute must, the uh, auto transformer, dim bulb and uh, isolation transformer. If you want to work on this kind of stuff, you need to have that equipment. Um, but yeah, we're going to dig into this and we're going to see why we're missing our 5 volt standby. And uh, hopefully we can get this repaired for the customer and... Uh, He'll have his TV working once again. I just thought I want to show you guys uh, a bit of the probing that I did before this. So um, I have my meter right now hooked up to uh, the hot side of the power supply. And I have my uh, special pincher grabber probe attached to the hot ground. And we're going to take some voltages and I'm going to show you that the primary side, the hot side, is working like it should. So... Right next to this capacitor, there's supposed to be another one right here, but I guess for this model, it wasn't required, but there is a pad here that I can test. So I have my probe on the positive pad, and I should be reading about 170, 160 volts, and I am uh, I would say that's about good, and that's about right. 163.3, it's not fluctuating too, too much, so I have a pretty good feeling that the issue is not on the primary side of things and i think the issue will be on the uh, secondary side of things but uh, on the hot side we are measuring 163 volts and if i go to the uh, cold side here and i'm gonna have to switch my ground because now i'm going to the cold side um i'm gonna switch that probe here quickly on live on camera this is very you want to be very careful when you do this because this is that cap is charged to the max and if you do whatever by accident, you will see some magic smoke. So we'll put this here. Now we're on the cold side. And we're going to measure our standby pin. And you're going to see that we do not see anything on our standby pin. So here we go. This is the standby pin. We are measuring 0.4.3 volts. This is not good. We should be seeing on this pin... On this pin, we should see on pin number two, we should see five volts. 
and we are reading not even one volt. So that's why this power supply is not working. We are missing our standby voltage. It could be that even when we bring back the standby voltage or standby supply, we could also have another issue. So uh, we will do the first step and that is to bring back the five volt standby. And once that's done, uh, we'll check to make sure that the rest of the power supply is functional. So I'm going to do some tracing around and testing and I'll come back to you guys when I find the issue and the standby is hopefully back to where it was supposed to be. I thought I would want to show you guys this. I have the uh, power supply flipped upside down and you can see that there's quite a bit going on here as well. So the first thing that I noticed right away was we have in some areas some broken solder and I'll show you one that's very evident. Over here on this pin right here, the power supply is de-energized by the way, so that's why I'm able to touch this. If you look very closely, you can see that this pin here is completely broken. There's a circle around it, there's a like a shadow around it, so this has to be reflowed, new solder, and uh, like these two, these are the perfect example. It, the, you can see that it's cracked, so this is gonna be touched up. And I just actually touched up this guy here. This is under the transformer. Uh, under the other side is the transformer. So I, th I touched up some of these connections here because they looked a, a bit uh, a bit questionable. Um, even over here, this is on actually the hot side. There was, uh, I think it was this one right here. It looks like it's about to start. You probably cannot see it on my camera, but... There's some rings forming around it, so I'm going to touch this up. I'm going to probably actually touch up all the transformers here. There's about nine of them, and uh, I'm going to touch up the connections because I think we have some uh, issues with solder and broken broken connections. Like here, for example, another one, we have uh, two caps over here. You can kind of see that there's a ring forming around this. These are okay, but again, this one, for example, there's like a ring so we're going to clean that up we're going to fix that and uh, we're going to make that work uh, i'm just looking over here to see if there's nothing anything wrong no that's good so basically we have the issue is yeah, and i see also over here a couple of these transistors looks like it could use a bit of a touch up so we're going to touch this up and we're going to make it all buttoned up and pretty the issue is when plasma TVs run, and I say they run very hot, and this is what it does to boards like this, because this power supply is sitting right behind the panel of the plasma TV, and that panel is going to get very hot. The TV is going to get very hot after a while when you run it from normal use, and because it gets so hot, it gets to the point where after so many cycles, getting hot and cold, hot and cold, turning on, turning off, this solder here will crack. And uh, you will need to uh, touch up the solder. So that's why I guess I'm around because uh, I'm able to do that. Um, but yeah, we're going to fix some of these connections. And uh, hopefully this will bring back our standby voltage. And we can test the rest of the power supply afterwards. Okay, so I have some really good news. I have my lead hooked up once again to my multimeter. And I am... Testing now after doing a couple of uh, touch-ups, so I touched up a couple of components over here, over there, at the trans these two transformers were touched up, this transformer was touched up, and all of the transistors that are over here, that are under this board are touched up, including the one that was notice noticeably broken, and that's now all nice and clean once again, so I, ca I cannot point at it too, too well because others I might short it. But basically this guy right over here so this transistor over here that's touched up now and i have some good news if i probe my standby pin uh once again on this side so what do we see 5.33 volts 5.30 volts and that also corresponds to the silk screen on the on the circuit board as you can see it says 5.3 so our standby voltage is back. So our power supply is alive now again. The only thing now that I'm 
questioning is if I should touch up the other side. Although I knew from the get-go the problem wasn't over here, the problem was over here on the secondary side or the cold side. I'm going to look and see if I find anything. If there's a lot of them, then I have to ask the customer if he's willing to spend the money for touching up all the pins. But if I see maybe one or two, then I'll just touch them up, no problem. Um, but yeah, so power supply is alive once again. It's reading zero because I have my probe off the uh, pin. And uh, looks like we are in the green. So I'll look on this side quickly, just for a quick inspection, and I'll see if there's any cold solar joints or anything like that that might be stopping this power supply from working in the future. And we're going to flip it upside down, and we're going to uh, test it afterwards. We're going to actually power on the power supply, because as it is right now, it's not powered on. So I'm going to do that check on this side, flip it around, and we'll take a look and see if we can fire this thing up and measure our proper uh, outputs okay so we are now actually i did not flip the board back to the other side but uh, i looked over all the connections and everything seems to be in order i have my meter now once again connected and i still have it on dc volts we are now going to test the uh power supply so now actually i've put two jumpers in place over here i'm just gonna get my soldering iron out of the way you can maybe see this a bit better pardon me get my soldering iron out of the way but basically we have two wires here jumped on the board um, <clears throat> we have uh, the uh, red wire is the PS on signal that's shorted to ground and the black wire is the VS on uh, shorted to the 5 volt supply on the uh one of the pins over here on that on this header over here i'll show you so on this on the other side there's a connector and the pin out is described there but basically the ps on signal which when you don't have anything uh jumped it will read four point something volts 4.3 volts we want to short this to ground and if we want to test everything at the same time uh we have to uh take the uh, VS on pin and short it to the five volt supply. And it's written here somewhere on the silk screen. It says uh, five point whatever, three volts. So it's shorted to there. One is shorted to ground. The other one is shorted to the five volt supply. And when we do this, basically we are able to test uh, the uh, voltages on the board and we can see basically if everything is working correctly. And uh, my, I have it turned on actually right now and we're going to take some measurements. We're going to check our VS supply, which in our case is on the bottom here, and it's written VS. <clears throat> so I'm going to put my lead right there. And we are reading 215.5 volts. So the VS supply, that's the sustained voltage, that's okay. And we're going to test our VA supply now. That's going to be this guy here. That's going to be about 60 volts, I think. Let's see. Yep. 53.8.9 okay let's call 54 54 volts this this is the va supply and this is the vs supply 220 to 15 volts so this is so the the scary voltages are are working pretty much now let's test the uh less lethal voltages i'm pretty certain those are working now at that point as well our 15 volt uh, supply, which should be coming off these guys somehow. Yeah, so 16.38.39. Actually, no, that would be something else. Sorry. Uh, the 15 volt supply would be a bit less. It's going to be, I think, over here. It's going to be over here. Sorry, I'm multitasking here. I'm looking and I'm pointing at the same time. Uh, yeah, 15.43 volts. So our 15 volt supply is working. Now we're going to test, obviously, the 5 volt supply, which we know is working, because otherwise we would not be able to see the scary voltages. Uh, let's see, can I get a decent connection here? Hello? This is going to be a bit tough, let's see if I can... Yeah, here you go, there you go. 5.3 volts, 30 volts, 5.30 volts. So the 5 volt supply is working. We obviously have our standby supply, which is right there, 5.3 volts. Our VS on, or sorry, not VS on, our PS on, which is now shorted to ground, 
that's reading zero volts, which is expected. And our PS on, uh, sorry, not PS on, VS on, which is over here. So this is the PS on, the red wire, and the VS on is the black wire. And if we measure the black wire, we, we read 5.3 volts. So this power supply is working. So this is ready to be given back to the customer. I'm going to let them know that it's ready to be picked up. And uh, maybe I might clean up a bit more the board, but I already passed the... I already passed the um, the, uh, the the isopropyl alcohol over the board, so it's all cleaned up, and uh, I think you'll be very happy to hear that we repaired this board. But uh, basically, what it came down to, uh, we had a couple of broken connections on the board, uh, cold solder. We restored those connections, and uh, as you saw with the meter and my magic probe. We basically brought the power supply back to life. And at the same time, I touched up a, a couple of connections around the board to make sure that they don't break maybe in the future. Um, I ended up, there was only one or two over here that uh, whatever needed attention, so I didn't even bother asking the customer. I just did it myself. And uh, yeah, this is basically ready to get, uh, it's ready to get out of my door and uh, will be given back to the customer very soon. So I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, stay tuned for more content like this. Catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.